All right, let's stick with talking about babies and childbirth for a while. Now, there has been a coincidence in Kakamega County that residents say is nothing short of a miracle. A pair of sisters who have been praying for years for babies of specific gender got exactly what they asked for. And not just that, they also got their prayers answered just two weeks apart. That's not all, though. Dorcas Wangera tells us the story of Kakamega's first babies. At 34, Jean J. Mugai was already a mother of two boys, 12-year-old Robert Karanja and 14-year-old Joseph Kangara, but she prayed for a girl. And come March, Margaret Kenyatta was born. Awe bibi ya president, sababu sister angu alikuwa meza kijana. Sasa nikaunulia na mimi pae ni sister yake inipate, ni mpatie bibi. Na ngependa kumualika bi Margaret Kenyatta akuje, akunye chai ya mtoto ambaye alionekana kwa siku nyingi. Tukua tumemgoja kwa siku nyingi. Her sister, 38-year-old Felista Wanjiru, was also a mother of girls, 18-year-old Victoria Njogoini and 16-year-old Chelsea Njeri. She was also hoping for a miracle, one that also came in March, a boy, Uhuru Kenyatta. Mimi nilipanga wakati nilisheka imimba, nilipanga, nikasema mungu wa nisaidie, nizae kijana, kwa sababu sina kijana, na nikasema, vile nimesema. Na ikawa hivu mungu kweli ya kasikia maumbi yangu. So, dadangu sijui kama alipanga ama. So, ezi juha kuniambia juu mi nili, nili amua tu from the word go. The two babies may not really be aware of the weight behind their names. Maybe they will when they grow up. The miracle doesn't end at birth. Postnatal care for the infants is important and will have a great bearing on whether they live long enough to fulfill the dreams hoped for them. As is, Kakamega County is not yet the safest place to give birth. National and county efforts are trying to fill the gaps. County government data says that only 33% of women are assisted by qualified midwives. Uhuru and Margaret were fortunate that their mothers were. Most of the mothers opt to give birth at home instead of giving birth in a health uh, facility and uh, they preferred to use the traditional birth attendance one because of the cost involved and two accessibility to the hospital and then three uh, the staff the staff or some of the staff who work in the hospital some of them tend to be harsh to those mothers and so they fear going there but it is something that is being corrected niko na matarajio mazuri ataka pokuwa mkubwa APS kumoja atakuja kuwa kama bibi ya president nataka achukue hatua zote za uhuru <laughs> akue kama ye. Baby Uhuru and Margaret will not grow up to be a fast couple like the one they're named after. Their parents say there are strands of miracles and greatness in all of them, that of a president and his first lady. Dorcas Wangira, KTN, Kakamega.